Dave Static, and today in the Beyond Flat Planes class, the plane breaking class, we cover uh, a few different drills that we can use to start exploring our 3D space around us. The first drill that we worked on was a little pendulum in our bus saw plane, and we brought it up above our heads. And the key to remember here was getting your hand underneath the foil to make it as straight up as we can get it. Um, and just keeping in mind that it won't always be perfect. We just we need to drill it over and over again until you know it ends up getting cleaner. And you'll still have a problem with it at that point. At any point, once you start doing multiple stall points and using two hands at once, but just being mindful of it. Trying to get that right underneath. Um, the second one was doing it with both hands at all three of these points. And then we focused on the actual plane breaking at our top point. So if we're starting off at the side, came up and the plane broke to the front. And then to the side. Keep in mind, you can always do it one hand at a time until you're comfortable with it. And what you should really do is make it a point to practice these drills when you're not necessarily spinning, just kind of hanging around the house, watching TV, hanging out with your friends. Practice. Just drill it and drill it and drill it until it's muscle memory. The other drill that we started working on was doing it in two planes at once with your arms at a 90 degree. One in bus saw, one in wall plane. And moving in same time like this, we came to the top saw point, and then plane broke to the side. Like the next step that we added to this pattern was a horizontal switch, where we go like this. The key that I discussed with that was entering into it as if it was a float where you move your hand up to the poi or to the level of the poi and float downwards. You enter into it the exact same way. The difference is instead of floating down, you pull it back. So practice that a little bit. It will take some drilling. Um, for the actual horizontal anti-spin, the, the key there is to start out with your arm flat bend your elbow up a little bit and that will allow your poi to pass through the space between your head and your forearm without hitting your, your arm like this. That will become a problem if you try to have your arm straight. So we drill this for a while, cross over to the other side and do it with both hands. And then we're going to combine all three of these, this, this plane, this plane, and the horizontal plane. We do this by starting out here, plane break at the top, and when you're comfortable, whichever hand you are most confident doing, have that one be at the side. If it, for me, it's my right hand, I'm going to start here. When I get to the outside stall points, I'm going to cross over like this. Cross over, cross over, and then combine it with the top one. The next drill that we covered was involving these bottom two cubes. And we started out doing anti spin flowers like this with stalls at the top and bottom. And when whichever hand was most comfortable at the top, we came outwards, like this. We practiced that a little bit. We covered that. Once we get to the top and bottom, we're going to switch the plane break that way. Now keeping in mind that we're switching between the two stacks of cubes, one, one stack on the left, and one stack on the right. One cube here, one cube here, one cube here, and one cube here. And we're utilizing the faces those cubes where they touch together. Um, that was the last pattern and drill that I covered in the class. Um, if you want a more in-depth 
uh, explanation of this. I have some 3D tutorials on YouTube. There's about nine of them. It'll cover you all the way up to 3D stacking and quarter time. Just uh, if you search for a 3D POI tutorial, it should come up. You can also search for my channel, which is Dave Static POI on YouTube. Um, and you'll find a more in-depth, longer explanation of this that branched out into nine videos and soon to be more.